Hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Schwa Mill, where we take a look at your pronunciation files and help you to craft your accent. I will be your host. My name is Jeff. It rhymes with breath, which is one of the four keys to a natural sound in American English pronunciation. What people have been doing is they have been sending me their pronunciation files throughout the week into a, a Google document. So what we are going to do today is take a look at all these pronunciation files that people have sent us, and we'll be listening to them and giving them some suggestions and things to give some feedback, pronunciation feedback, some thoughts and things like that in order to achieve a more natural sound. And of course, there is still time if you would like to send in your own pronunciation file. What you'll need to do, and you can find this in the video description, but what you'll need to do is you'll We'll need to send it into our document. Listen as well into the chat box in case you're curious. This is where you will need to send in your pronunciation file. So that way we'll be able to hear you uh, and also give you the appropriate feedback and things like that. And of course, as we go through the show, if you have any questions for me about American English, English in general, life, any way that you feel like I can try to help you, feel free to ask those questions in the chat because we're always checking there as well so quick hellos hey my mom's back get up for the moms in here good to see you mom love you who else is here edward is here emmanuel's here shok is here and everyone's saying hi to each other oh that's you guys are cute <laughs> all right i don't think there's anything else that is super Super press. I guess there's one thing I can mention. Give me a moment just to set it up. Switch back to my main screen. All right, one moment. This, we have an upcoming course. So one of the things that we're probably going to mention at some point today is we're going to be talking about vowel sounds specifically vowel sounds that are being impacted in a negative way by your consonant sounds. And I want to help you avoid that sort of situation from happening. So if you go to fluentamerican.com, one of the things you'll see is right down here, we have a course that is coming up very soon. This course is called Conquer Consonants. We're going to be talking about four of the most difficult consonant sounds. These sounds are difficult because what they do is they impact your vowels. So to give you an example, in English, there's the word moon. You're probably familiar with it, the moon. Okay. But the way a lot of students are saying it is saying things like, for instance, moon or for instance, moon versus just moon. So what's happening is people are raising their placement or they're closing off their vowel sound or other issues that sometimes even adding an extra vowel sound that are just not allowing people to sound natural. And we are here to tackle that. So if that sounds like something that is interesting to you, that's going to be on November 6th, 10 a.m. New York time. So I encourage you to sign up for that. We have three spots left to be in the class. Okay, so these are very, very limited seats, and I would love to work with you on your vowel, on your consonant sounds to make sure they're not hurting your vowel sounds. So be sure to take a look at that. All right, I think that kind of wraps up all of my big things. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the feedback. Oh, let me let me add myself there, right? Again, it's not little, it's more little. Um, the G host was. Are you feeling that here, here, or here? <laughs> All right, we're ready to listen to your feedback. I see again the manual post. Only three spots left in the course. That is completely right. Although you can also, there's also a cheaper price option where you can just watch the course. Um, you can be live. You can interact with us in chat. You just won't be on screen. So there is that option as well. All right, all that said, let's get into things what kind of feedback can i give to everybody i know a couple files have been added since i started this but we're going to begin just with the files i already have we got 10 second file so last night i woke 16 
So we twenty and forty. Please. Let's begin with the super long ones. I'm pretty sure Shoke's trying to get her audiobook out, so she's getting all the prep in. Um, okay, so let us take a listen to this file here. Here's our first go around. East and west, the world he travels, sea and land he sees himself. East and west, the world he travels, sea and land he sees himself. He who's not on no ravels shuns itself, it's shun itself. Allah, who's not on no ravels shuns itself, it's shun itself. Okay, thanks to Choke for the, for the singing. That's what's up. Always appreciate that. All right, let's take a listen to. Um, the first part um in general you know when, when you're singing it requires a lot more use of the diaphragm it requires a lot more breath passing through so i think shok if you compare this file to some of the recent ones you've sent where it's more talking based this in general is sounding a little bit more open which i do appreciate i think it's it'll achieve a more natural sound that way let's listen to the first part east and west the world he travels just pause there I, I don't really have a lot of comments for that part i think in general it sounds pretty good um very open um the, i like the breath on travels i like the e sound the placements in a good spot so again it's not e you know it's more like e it's like east and west good um i like the dark island travels east and west the world he travels also good pitches so it's like the east and west, then it's going to drop the, and then world he travels and then it moves back up again. So there's some nice pitch contrast as well. Sea and land, he sees himself. East and west, the world he travels. Being very nitpicky, I want to hear that world he travels part. East and west, the world he travels. I do think world is slightly blocking breath. The D sounds a little heavy, but I'm being very nitpicky. That's not a huge concern. Uh, so again, world he travels, like the world he travels. The D could be a little softer. World he travels, see and then he sees himself. Let me see that part again. See and then he, world he travels. See and then he sees himself. Um, I would say that when you said the sea and land part, uh, I think you could hold the vowel on C just a little bit. It's a little bit short, especially compared to like how you say like and land he sees himself. That part um in general has a little bit longer vowel sounds. I thought C was a little bit fast. If I didn't have the text, uh, I thought I feel like I might have been slightly thrown, but very minor. And then he sees himself. He who's not on no ravels shuns itself, it's shun itself. I'll... Uh, pause there. I feel like I heard like shuns itself and shuns itself. I don't know if it was supposed to be shuns himself and shuns itself. Um, yeah, there's just some little pronoun ambiguity there, which also could just be maybe it's just a typo. Um, so it's hard to say, but I would. Mm. These pronouns are correct in the text. Just make sure you're pronouncing the right ones. So if this is instead of his self, I mean, I guess it technically could be his self, but the more common one would be himself, shuns himself. Ravels, shuns itself. Yeah, because I feel like I hear a TS, like it's, it's versus his, his. It's shun itself. Allah. Actually, I want to hear that shuns itself, the last part. Shun itself. Allah. It's shun itself. Allah. Um, and then uh, I'm not hearing that final S on shuns. I just hear shun itself versus shuns itself. Okay, so again, I don't... could just be a typo. You know, it could just be the text isn't accurate for what the song actually is. Um, but if it is accurate, just double check that because I'm just not... Grammatically, I'm not hearing it. It's shun itself. Yeah, I just hear shun itself. Allah, who's not... 
stone unravels, shines the sun, shine itself. And then we also hear that again. Um, the the final shuns itself again. I'm not hearing that s. I hear shun itself versus shuns itself. Um, so just a note on that. Okay. Uh, so just watching out for those pronouns. But I think Jones is doing a lot of great things. I like the pitch contrast in general. I think we're staying pretty open, which again is certainly necessary when you're singing. Um, so good work to Shoke. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you for sharing your voice and your talents with us we greatly greatly appreciate that give it up one more time for show great great stuff okay we're going to be bouncing back to another pronunciation file that's a nice one to start today let's see let's get the long ones out of the way first Okay, let's take a look at this 20 second file. We got a file, 20 seconds. Let's take a listen and see which one this is. We have here um, a couple questions about. So we have here a couple questions about. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. I know we're probably going to cover this, right? Yeah. And then also. Um... Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to cover this, right? And also. Okay, I already have some ideas. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is taken from our shadowing channel. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, let's listen to this again. So we have here um, a couple questions about... So we have here a couple questions about... Okay, if the goal is to really copy this, I'm going to go very nitpicky on you and identify what is actually sounding different between your file and the thing that the native speaker is doing. So that way you can compare because uh, there are some slight little differences. So we have here um, a couple questions about. So we have here. So we have you, here. Um, so we have here. Uh, so we have here. Uh, so we have here. Uh, listen to how he says half. So we have here. Uh, so we have here. Uh, so we have here um okay. now listen to how you say have a couple questions about so we have here a, so we have here um a couple questions about so we have here uh, you're changing a couple things so you're uh, first of all you're going higher pitch on half you're like you're saying so we have here so we have here versus what he's doing is so we have here uh so we have here uh so we have so we have here uh versus you're saying so we have here so what's happening is your pitch is higher in half, um, and then your intonation is also a little bit different out here. You're saying more like, so we have here, versus he's saying, so we have here. Uh, so we have here um, a couple questions about. So we have here. A, do you hear a difference? So we have here versus he's more. So we have here. Uh, so just a little difference in terms of pitch, um, and even intonation out here. We'll keep going. A couple questions about. Uh, listen to how he says about. So we have here um, a couple questions about. About, about, do you hear that? Couple questions about. So we have here um, a couple questions about. A couple questions about. So we have here a couple questions about. Danger rising. Like about, a couple questions about, but he's more saying a, a couple questions about. So it's a little bit difference on the intonation there. It's like about versus about, about. That's what you're doing versus he's just doing about. So we have here um, a couple questions about. So we have here a couple questions about. Okay, hopefully you can hear those little differences in manual. Uh, we'll keep going. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. Okay, one, I think you're a little faster than he is slightly. Okay. He's a. a very slight pause between recommendations and four, whereas you're just kind of plowing through it. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutor. Like, um, unfortunately, my throat's a little scratchy today, so I can't necessarily get all the pitch stuff quite right um, without <laughs> a, a coughing fit. But uh, listen how he says the recommendations for compare it to yours. Recommendations for tutor. Recommendations for recommendations for 
Recommendations for tutors. And you're just playing recommendations for tutors. And he's more like recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. Is maybe because he's going slower on recommendations. It's like recommendations for recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for tutors. And I know so again, so it's moving a little bit faster, and I also think his four is going at a lower pitch than yours. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for recommendations for it just goes lower. Recommendations for tutors. For two. For two. For two. You can hear that uh, pitch contrast. Recommendations for tutors. Recommendations for t you're just not going as low as he is. Um, your your fur is um, also a, a little bit faster. We're gonna keep going. And I know we're probably gonna cover this right, and yeah. then also. Um... Uh, we're probably gonna cover this right, and also. So we have okay. tutors. And I know we're probably gonna cover this right, and yeah. then also. And I know we're probably gonna cover this right, and yeah. then and I know we're probably gonna cover this right, and. Yeah. Then... A lot of thought groups there, a lot of movement, right? It's like the and I know part's pretty low. Like and I know and I know. And I know we're probably. Gonna... I know he drags out no. And I know. And I know we're probably going to cover this right. And yeah. then we're probably going to cover this. We're we're probably going to cover this. We're probably going to. I know we're probably going to cover this right. We're probably going to cover this. We're probably going to cover this. Right. I know we're probably going to cover this right. And then also. Um... And I know we're probably going to cover this right. And also. Again, you're going really fast. It's okay to pause. He's not going that fast. And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? Yeah. And then I'll see that the, the speed's more, there's more contrast in the speed. He starts a little fast. And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? So when he says, and I know, and then we're probably going, that part is pretty fast. But as soon as he gets to cover, he slows down. And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And yeah. then also, and I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And, yeah. then, and I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And yeah. then I know we're probably going to cover this, right? I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? I know we're probably going to cover this, right? So it's just going slower on the cover this part. Listen to yours. And then also, we're probably going to cover this, right? And also, um, he also has more of a pause between. Uh, right before the next thought group. And I know we're probably going to cover this, right? And yeah. then also, um, yeah. and then also, uh, we're probably um, going to cover this, right? And also, okay, so yeah, so the end then also part is a little flat. Also, um, yeah. also, also, uh, for this, right? Yeah. And then also, um, and then also, and then also, like, and then also, so it's like, um, that part for this, right? Yeah. And then also, um, for this, right? Yeah. And then also, uh, and then also, this is the pitch, right? And then also, um, yeah. uh, we're probably going to cover this, right? And also, and then also, that part's just a lot flatter, right? Okay. So, Hopefully that gives you an idea of the differences. So if you listen to this file and you listen to yours, you can, these are the things I want you to kind of target. Um, everyone's <laughs> making me look like a horrible person out here. <laughs> and be like, Emmanuel, great job. And Emmanuel is doing a fantastic <laughs> job. <laughs> My mom is very impressed with the changes she hears in Emmanuel's pronunciation, which is great. And Edward also agrees progress is amazing facts. Uh, Emmanuel is one of the most dedicated pronunciation people I've seen, uh, which is great. Um, good stuff, Emmanuel. I don't, those are I know you like the nitpicky stuff, um, so that's why I gave it to you. You like that tough love, so I give you the tough love. Um, so much that means a lot. Oh, my improvement to the person on the screen. Oh, Emmanuel, I said I said I wouldn't, I said I wouldn't cry today, Emmanuel. Thank you, sir. You're doing you're doing all the things. Um, I do see we have a West, West, question West. came in. Is the yes and dropped in American English? I'm guessing you mean for tutors for the U sound in tutors. Is the yes sound dropped in American English pronunciation for tutors? Um, so again, I'm if I'm guessing right, what we're referring to is the U sound when it comes after. Uh, 
for instance, like a letter T or something like that. Um, so what we're going to see in general, again, in American English is that for the U sound, when it comes after a vowel, we do not want to add anything to that vowel sound. Okay. So it's not going to be U, U. It's just going to be U, U. So it's not tutors, it's tutors. It's not T U, it's T U. Just like it's not pollute, it's pollute. Where it's not new, it's just new. Okay, so American English just goes right into the ooh sound. We don't add any other vowels or things to that. Just a note. Um, Edward, let me know if that was not addressing your question. That's how I interpreted it, though. Ugh, I need some water, guys. Uh, but in the meantime, you can help me out if you're getting help. Like what you're hearing? Let us know by liking and subscribing. Alrighty. Yes. Those likes certainly do help us immensely. Um, let's get back to business. What is our business? And in case you're just joining us, hi, this is the Schwa Mill, where we help you craft your accent in American English pronunciation. You can see people have been sending us <clears throat> pronunciation files. And we're listening to them and just giving some thoughts. How can these sound even more natural in American English pronunciation? That's our goal. We're trying to show you what's missing, what sounds different between your speech and a native speaker's speech, and how can you narrow the gap if that sounds like something that interests you. If that's cool, say cool. We're going to listen to our next file. We're just going in order of length. This one is 16 seconds. Let us see who sent what. Woke up in the middle of the night. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. Well, but then I realized it's just a fire alarm. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire or any smoke. Uh, so I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. All right. Thanks, Sycamore, for sending the file. Let's give some thoughts here. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. Okay, a little choppy, right? You're basically doing a thought group every three words or so. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. Like, that's basically our pattern right now. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. And what that's doing and is it is limiting your ability to use reductions and to get to some of the lower pitches that... American English really, really wants us to get to um, because we're just constantly needing to reset. You know, it's okay to have multiple thought groups. I don't have an issue with that as long as you're doing enough uh, switching with like pitches and things like that. But the reality, I think, for this one is it's just a little bit too flat and it's just not happening. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. So the very first thing I would do is like, hey, let's maybe cut off, let's cut down on some of these stresses and thought groups in this case. Let's just let's maybe stress last. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. So like I would maybe stress middle. Let's stress last in middle, and let's maybe make our first thought group higher in pitch and our second thought group lower in pitch, and see how this is going to help the the sentence sound a little bit more natural. So last night I woke up in the middle of the night. So last night I woke up in the middle of the night. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. And there's all kinds of things you can do with this as well, you know. So we just added some contrast with pitch. You can add some contrast with speed. Um, let's listen to how fast you're going. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. So you're saying very consistent with your speed. We saw this again also with um, Emmanuel's. Um, we're, I know we talk a lot about contrast. There, were, there was contrast with pitch, but not necessarily contrast with speed. But speed... Is another tool you can use. I just used it right there. But speed, that's slow, is another tool you can use. And I went faster, right? But speed is another tool you can use. And we can do it here as well. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. So last night, so last night, I was stressing last. So let's do last. Um, so, so last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up in the middle of the night. So I'm going... A little slow on last night. So last night, then we go a little faster. I woke up in the, I woke up in the, and then I go a little slow on middle. Meh. And then I go faster. The other night. So last night, 
I woke up in the middle of the night. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas to add some contrast to things. Middle of the night. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. Again, we're just we're we're falling into this pattern where we're going like two, three, four words where it just kind of um that's our thought group. And so we're we're ending up with a sequence that just, again just sounds a little stilted. First I thought it was a freaking nightmare. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. At first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. At first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. I don't know if any of you guys like watch Star Trek. It has kind of like a William Shatner, Captain Kirk kind of feel to it. It's just really choppy. At first, I thought it was a freaking nightmare. At first, I thought it was a freaking nightmare. So again, what we're doing is that we're just, it's not allowing us to use the range of pitches that would be helpful for a more natural sound. At first, I thought it was a freaking nightmare. At first, I thought it was a... So maybe that could be our first talk group. Maybe first talk group ending on uh. And first I thought it was a. And first I thought it was a. And first I thought it was a. So just dressing first in that first talk group. And first I thought it was a. And then we get the freaking nightmare. It's like a freaking nightmare. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. And first, I thought it was a freaking nightmare. So again, just adding more contrast with pitch, also adding contrast again with speed because the first part's faster. And first, I thought it was a, and then we go faster. Freaking nightmare. We go slower. All right, and our next part. Okay. Let us see. Well, but then I realized he's just a fire alarm. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, guys, give me... One moment, just to help out my son. I will be right, right back. Take a look at this. This is Emmanuel's favorite video. You were probably in school years ago when your nice English teacher taught you to say these words. Wrong. All contain vowel sounds that consonants can transform into horrible, horrible monsters. We are hunting down consonants starting with the letter L. Say these words to yourself really quick. Real, girl, milk, roll, cool. Did you say them like I did? If not, it's because when the letter L comes at the end of a word, you wanna make sure of these things. The tip of your tongue is down. The back of your tongue is Hi, there is enough air moving through your throat. It's like a consonant sound becomes a vowel sound like ah. Uh. All right, thank you for your patience with that. Uh, let us share once more. Dun, 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 dun. And there we are. <laughs> yes, the consonants video. Yes, the consonants video. All right, let's um see what else we can say here. Uh, uh -huh. where were we? So fortunate. <clears throat> So fortunately, there wasn't any fire or any smoke. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire or any smoke. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire or any smoke. Honestly, it's the same feedback as I've given for the previous thought groups here. We're, we're very choppy. We're just stopping ourselves after every three or four words, um, and which is not allowing us to expand our full range of pitches that we're going to need. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire or any smoke. So fortunately, first thought group. There wasn't any fire, second thought group. Right, smoke, second thought group. Um, let's maybe cut off one of these thought groups. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire. Let's maybe just stress fire. So so maybe like first, so can probably be its own little thought group. So then we get our next thought group, maybe a little higher pitch. 
So fortunately, it wasn't a fire. So for so fortunately, it wasn't a fire or any smoke. Again, pitches. So we're also adding contrast with speed. So then we go higher. Fortunately, there wasn't a fire, and then or any smoke. So fortunately, there wasn't a fire or any smoke. Um, just something like that to add some contrast. Um, I do see a note that my mom has brought up. So she says, I like the way Sycamore brought his pitch down at the end of Nightmare because it seemed to segue into change of thought about the realization it was just the fire alarm. Let's hear that part. Let us hear what that part was again. The freaking nightmare. I don't remember the specific feedback um, because of being mildly distracted. Uh, But let's listen to that part again. Well, but then, and first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. I don't, my mom is talking about the pitch down. I don't feel like I took that away on the feedback, did I? Um, Like a freaking nightmare. Because even if you go higher and pitch on night, you can still go lower and pitch on mare, right? Freaking nightmare, like a freaking nightmare. Nightmare, you know, so night goes high. Well, I won't, you, you know, the, I think that's fair for the stress, but then after night's done, because night's your stress syllable, so then once you get to mare, then you can really drag that down. Nightmare, nightmare, freaking nightmare. Um, and I think then that lower pitch would then transition. I, I don't know if that addresses the point you were making. Um, you can let me know. I, sorry if I missed it. Um, Moving on for the next part. Fire or any smoke. Uh, so I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. Okay. Smoke. Uh, so I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. Uh, my big thing here again is going to be pitches. Um, Because everything just sounds like we're staying in the same pitch range the entire time. So I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. So I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. So I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. So there's just not a lot of contrast there. It's a little flat. I would try to add more. Um, uh, so I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. Like something like that. I think we could also play with speed. Again, lots of opportunities to play with stuff. So I think the big ones are going to be pitch and speed. So I went back to my bed and fell asleep. I would, I would expect kind of dropping pitches but it doesn't have to be you could also play around rising but just more contrast between your thought groups so i went back to my bed and fell asleep and then i might put immediately on its own thought group and then change the speed to add more contrast so i would make it really slow immediately so i went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately so i went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately something like that um i'll play the full file and then i'll show you how i personally would read it or one way I could read it. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. And first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. Well, but then I realized it's just a fire alarm. So fortunately, there wasn't any fire or any smoke. Uh, so I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. Oh, the, the last comment I would make is that uh, a lot of breaths. I think you could go farther between breaths if you allow yourself to. So I would practice trying to get more words in, more thought groups in without having to breathe in. Um, but anyways, if I were reading this, so last night I woke up in the middle of the night and first I thought it was a freaking nightmare. Well, but then I realized it's just a fire alarm. So fortunately there wasn't any fire or any smoke. So I went back to my bed and fell asleep immediately. Something like that. I just did. You may ask me, can I read the whole thing? I just did. What else do you want from me, sir? <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> that's good. Um, thank you to uh, Sycamore for sending that file. Greatly appreciate you. Uh, who's next? Last of our original groups. And then we will see who else has added their file to be roasted by Jeff. Uh, our last file here. From my original group. Ten seconds off. It's the last day of the school. 
I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. Ooh, drama. Oh my gosh. How do you do that? Like, how do you decide what to wear? Oh my gosh. Drama, drama, drama. All right. I feel this. I feel this. I feel this. Okay. See, the real answer is just don't go to school. Then you don't have to wear anything. That's the real answer. It's a big brain. Big brain decisions here. All right. Let's see what we got. My big thing I'm going to tell you immediately is uh, our placement staying consistently in the same. And not even just. Um, I think our placement's a little bit high. And kind of similar to what I was for the feedback I was giving for uh, the last file. Uh, pitch. We're stuck. We're trapped. We're like stuck talking like up here. I'm like, it's like if I said everything from right here and I never changed the pitches and I just said everything from this spot here forever with my English. Ha ha ha. And it's just we, we need more. We need to go higher. We need to go lower. We need to go fast. And then we need to go slow. You need to use the full powers of your voice. It's the last day of the school. I need to get ready. I can't decide what to wear. Okay, so I want to, you know, I, th I like that the last part. I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. I like that part in the sense that um, it slowed down a little bit, but I wanted to slow it down even more. And I think the key thing with pitches and with speed is that you really need to exaggerate it because these are new things to you. So if something feels like you're doing it enough, if you're like, okay, I added more pitch there, double it. Go crazy exaggerated. Be like, there's no way that a native speaker could talk like this. This is too exaggerated. Because honestly, that's probably going to sound the most natural to a native speaker. It has to feel weird to you. Because if it doesn't feel weird to you, you're just doing what you've always done. Or it's too close to what you've always done. It has to feel weird. It has to feel strange. You have to kind of start questioning yourself a little bit. That's the sign that we're really getting into new territory. Okay. It's the last day of the school. Quick note. Um, I don't know what your first language is. It almost sounds like Spanish. Um, what I would say is don't add a the sound before school. It's the last day of school. It's the last day of school. It's the last day of the school. Yeah, of the school versus of school. It's the last day of school. So it's written right, but just watch out for that. Um. A little flat pitch wise, like I said. It's the last day of the school. It's the last day of this school. It's the last day of the school. Um, what are we stressing? I was stressed last. It's the last day of school. It's the last day of school. You can go fast and slow and fast again. It's the last. It's the last. See how fast I'm going on. It's the it's the last. And then we go, day of school. Go fast on day of and then slow down school. But notice also the pitches. It's the last day of school. It's the last day of school. Stress, stress, just stress last. Don't stress school. So it's not, it's the last day of school. It's the last day of school. It's the last day of school. Next part. It's the last day of the school. I do like your dark out at the end of school. That little video I played for you. I need to get ago, ready. About that. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. I need cool. to. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. Uh, again, we're running into a similar issue where the pitches are all the same. We're very flat. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. Um, what are we stressing? The standard stress would probably be ready. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. If you want to add more urgency, don't stress ready, stress need. I need to get ready. Um, so it kind of depends on what's what's the emotion, what's the vibe you want this to have. Um, I also see that we have this comma. So there's another sequence. So to me, I might actually stress need. I might stress need. And I would go higher in pitch, and I would maybe use rising intonation on ready 
to indicate that there's more information coming. Like I need to get, I need to get ready. I need to get ready. You could also stress ready instead of need. You're like, I need to get ready. I need to get ready. So you kind of decide, you know, what, what's more important to you? What do you want to emphasize the urgency or just the fact? Cool. I need to get ready. Need to get ready. It's like hitting a piano, the same key. Da, 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 da. I need to get ready. You go up a little bit on ready, but that's about it. Versus if you stress need, notice what's going to happen. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. So no, you can hear that drop to get red, to drops in pitch, right? If you stress ready, then you're going to get the drop sooner. It's like, I need to get ready. I need to get ready. We just need to have some sort of movement. In general, English doesn't like it when two syllables have the same pitch. It just doesn't like it. Just is trying to avoid that. I need to get ready. But I can't decide what to wear. The pauses here are very dramatic. I need to get ready. But I can't decide. What to wear? You know, it's like we have these like super long pauses <laughs> going on. Um, it, I, I don't know if we need to necessarily be that dramatic. Uh, I can't decide what to wear. Like, you know, like maybe cut off one of those pauses. So when you go from one thought group to the next, it doesn't mean that your pauses have to be super long. You can keep going. It's okay to keep going. I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. You know, you could be like that. I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. It's really sad. I mean, it works best with music, right? I I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. It's really sad. You know, um, so it all depends on what, what you want to do um, with your sequence. But your thought groups, you don't have to pause so long between them. Um, also, keep in mind, when you have a thought group that ends, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to breathe. You can keep the air flowing. I think I mentioned this for the file before this with Sycamore's file. You can keep flowing. Get ready. I can decide. I like the, there is some pitch shift there, which is good. Like, I need to get ready, but I can't decide. You can hear a little bit of that drop, which is good. What to wear. And then you get a little bit more on that, what to wear. So that last from, but I can't decide what to wear. There is a lot more movement and pitch, which is great. Um, but the need to get ready part was uh, a little flat and say, so was this last day of school? All right. So th that's the big thing I, I would experiment with. I want more pitches. I want fewer stresses. I want your th thought group groups to be a little bit more connected to each other. And I think it's going to help to sound a lot more natural. It's the last day of the school. I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. It's the last day of school. I need to get ready, but I can't decide what to wear. Something like that. There's so many different options you could do. My mom says, I really like the last part of and selection or on selection. I would stress last as well. I would stress the beginning of ready. I need to get ready. Yes, I think it will lead into the last thought about deciding. And then you get ready. So stressing ready instead of uh, need. I think those those are certainly valid points. Certainly possible. All right, guys. That concludes our first round. Give it up for yourself. Send it to us. Pronunciation files. I know a couple people have sent some files since then. There is still time to send you your file. If you're interested, you need to. Let's take a look at the video description to see our Google document where you can submit your file for review if you're feeling brave and courageous because we are truly scary, scary people. So this is only for the brave, only for the brave. Um, other things that are happening. And by the way, um, if you're enjoying this, first thing you can do is just like the stream because that lets other people know what we're doing appreciate that and if you really like this and you're like man this pronunciation stuff's kind of fun i wish i could study pronunciation every day of the week hopefully you actually have that attitude because the reality is that if you are serious about making significant change in your pronunciation we saw the comments earlier about manual everyone's talking about oh emmanuel you sound so natural manual oh emmanuel your accent look at you 
I'm very mean to him. I'm just like, do this, <laughs> change this. <laughs> but look at the results. He's doing some, some fantastic things. And the reason he's able to do that is because he focuses on pronunciation every single day. And that's something that our channel is really all about. All of our channels, Straw Mill, Shadowing, um, the main channel, Fluent American, all, everything that we offer is really in the interest of helping you have pronunciation resources that you can use every single day of the week, whether it's our free videos, some other options that we have. We have a pronunciation group on Telegram where every single day of the week, including today and tomorrow, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I post a group of words to say, and then members of the group, what can they do? They can send in their own pronunciation files and get feedback. It's just like the schwa mill, what we're doing today, but every single day of the week for you. And the best part is you can do previous files as well. There are hundreds. There's probably almost a thousand challenges on there right now that you could go through because we've been doing it for about two years um, and things like that. So that's the very first thing. In addition to that, you want more because you don't, you're like, I don't just want to send in one pronunciation file. I want to have an actual class. Okay. We have a program called Mission English. Mission English, these are small group pronunciation classes, a maximum of four students on screen with me. We do this twice a day, Monday through Friday. So on Monday, for instance, we meet at 1.30 and then 8 o'clock p.m. New York time. We do that same schedule on Thursday. Okay. On Tuesday, we meet at 9.30 in the morning and at 1.30 p.m. New York time. On Wednesday, we meet at 9.30 in the morning and at 8 o'clock p.m. And then on Friday, we meet at 9.30 in the morning and then also 1 30. We also have writing sessions. I was an IELTS examiner. I help people getting ready for the IELTS test, business test. I had a student today. She we're working on her CV, her resume. So things like that. If these options sound interesting to you, you are serious about trying to take your pronunciation to a different level. Here's how you can do it. American.com for all of our pronunciation services, including memberships, including our daily telegram program where you send in files every day and get corrections from us. Mission English, where we meet twice a day in live stream classes, and also our paid video courses so you can start learning right away. A quick note, okay, this is serious. If you're interested in these services, do try to act fast. For our Mission English program, right now I'm looking for about seven more students. After that, it's going to close and you'll be put on a wait list. For our Telegram group, the price has changed. It's currently $12 a month. We are accepting six more students for that. People keep joining it, so I have to keep <laughs> updating the number. We're taking six more students for the Telegram group. So if these sound like things that you're interested in, act now because these spaces will not always be there. <laughs> My mom says I'm tough on all of us because no one else is. No, I'm just kidding. It's because I expect great things from you. I will not accept mediocre. Refuse to accept it. If you want mediocre, go to someone else's channel. I'm looking at the document. I am looking at the document. Two people. We have two people. Two people's files that I have not gotten to. But it could be more. It could be yours. There's still time. If you want to send in a file, there is still time to send one. Otherwise, we will go in peace. We got this file right here from a woman named Anne. Who could that be? <laughs> oh, look at everyone looking at the tough. Everyone loves the tough love. Look at this. Some tough love is needed for us to achieve our pronunciation goals in every goal. Yes. Yes. Discipline is essential to succeed. Yes. Yes. All of these things are true. Yes. Yes. All of these things. 100%. We're going to get it. Uh, I got one. Did I get Marcos's? All right. Let's find it's Anne Fellow Persons first. Is this one it? Hi, everyone. All right. Put up for the moms in the house. Put up for the moms. Now, I know this is a native speaker. Unless my mom has lied to me her whole life, she is a native American English speaker who also sometimes dabbles in some Spanish. Jeff's sense of tough love is different than most folks. 
because <laughs> it's just tough. There is no love. It's just tough. <laughs> Let's take a listen to this. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to be back with all of you, and I hope you are all doing well. Oh, that's so sweet. My mom's so sweet. Thanks, Mom. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to be back with all of you, and I hope you are all doing well. All right. So what can I say about my mom's speech? It's perfect. What else is there to say? She is perfect. This is so great. It's perfect. What is she doing that you can apply to your own speech? Hi, everyone. Uh, intonation. Everyone. Do you hear that quiver? That's an intonation pattern that a lot of people who have learned English do not have in their speech. Everyone. Everyone. Do you hear that one? One. Do you hear that little quiver at the end? Hi, everyone. One. So it's like kind of like drop one and then rises in one. What that does is it softens things. This is an intonation pattern that native speakers often use to one show that they're not done talking, but also to make things sound friendlier. You know, if you just say hi, everyone, that's a lot firmer. It's nothing wrong with that. It's just a little colder, it's a little firmer. Okay. Versus like, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, you can kind of hear the difference there in tone. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. And I I'm so glad for a stock group to be back with all of you. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. The pitch differences. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. You can hear how low it goes on. So glad to be the, the that drop in pitch. Um, and then after that, you get the higher pitch. So again, adding some contrast. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. And you know, she's not saying, I'm so glad to be back. No, she's saying, I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be back. So the fulcrum is that B. If you don't go down enough on B, the pitches sound too similar to each other. So the B is adding that contrast. I'm so glad to be back with all of you. And I notice what happens after back so back is stressed that means that everything else after is just in that thought group is just going to go down 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 back with all of you back with all of you so glad to be back with all of you i'm so glad to be back with all of you and i and then you can hear the next thought group we drop all of you and i hope you are all of you and i hope you are with all of you and i hope and I hope you can be back with all of you. And I, so again, we just drop, 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 drop. All of you. And I hope you are all doing well. And I hope you are all doing well. And again, we drag out the intonation on well, which again is something that a lot of native speakers are missing out on. I mean, not native speakers, a lot of English learners, they just kind of would just say, hope you're all doing well. Just like a heavy falling intonation. Well, but no, it's more dragged out, right? All doing well. Well, well. So it's just a little softer landing. We're not trying to like, bam, like go down. No, we're trying to go a nice, gentle, soft landing. Well, so just on note on that. Some comments and speech is flawless. Look at that. Thank you so much for the audio. We miss hearing your voice these past few months. I mean, there's a lot of nice things going on in the chat box. That's great. And my mom mentions that's her world famous slide technique to be friendly, trying to teach us all how to be friendly. Because who's friendlier than my mom? It's a rhetorical question. The answer is no one. <laughs> the answer is no one. Okay. Thank you to my mom for sending that file. Who's left? When the surgery was oh, over, God. she fainted. Oh, God. <laughs> Marcos, that, that was a very rough transition going from that nice, soft pleasantry of my mom to, <laughs> to this. <laughs> that was a very uh, harsh transition there. All right. Back to the dramatic. Marcos, so serious. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. When the surgery was over, she fainted. My biggest uh, comment here is going to be short thought groups, heavy stresses, 
can we condense anywhere? Can we can we combine any of these thought groups? Because you right now you're basically going two or three words for every thought group. Um, my mom says she can relate to Marcos's sentiment or selection. Yes, my mom has just had several surgeries. She's got new knees. Her knees are no longer human. <laughs> Her knees are man-made, but not human. Getting those knee replacements. Um, let's let's hear this again. When the surgery was over, she fainted. When the surgery was over, she fainted. I do like that pitch drop on she fainted. Very nice, very dramatic. Um, I would just stress surgery. I wouldn't stress over. When the surgery was over, she fainted. When the surgery was over, she fainted. And I think that's just going to help smooth this out a little bit. When the surgery was over, she fainted. Because right now you're kind of saying when the surgery was over, she fainted. Versus when the surgery was over, she fainted. And hopefully you can see it just kind of smooths things out. She had a little bit more chance to flow. When the surgery was over, she fainted. When the surgery was over, she fainted. Um, yeah, because that stress on over is just really chopping things up. Um, besides that, it's a short sentence. What else can we say here? When the surgery was over, she fainted. I like the sounds. When the surgery was over, she fainted. Okay. Um, another option for linking, if you so choose, you don't have to do it. Uh, instead of saying when the, it could be when the, when the, if you wanted, just to smooth that out. But I don't think the way you said it was wrong. Uh, when the surgery was over, she fainted. She fainted. For fainted, you could take off the T because it's after the letter N. Okay. Um, so instead of fainted, you could just say fainted. She fainted. She fainted. 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 Taking off the T would smooth that out. But again, you'll you'll hear native speakers even doing the D sound, so that's not like a big deal. My mom says she thought the reading by Marcos was great. Good job, Marcos. You you did it. Good job, Marcos. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I'm gonna check the file, guys. I need to make like a drum roll sound. That's it. We did everybody. Look at us. We did a thing. We did everybody. All right, so that's going to conclude this edition of the Schwa Mill. All right, guys, while I have everyone here, I do have to make an announcement. For the time being, I am going to put the Schwa Mill onto hiatus, which means we're going to be doing a pause with the Schwa Mill. I hope to return to it in the future at some point, but there's some other projects that I will need my weekends for. And so with that in mind, I think that it is best for us to kind of just put the schwa mill on pause. I hope to at least do them every now and then and things like that um, in the interim. So definitely keep an eye out for announcements and things like that and looking for, for files and things. But I think just for the time being, again, there's some other projects that I want to pursue um, on Saturdays. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. We'll have more opportunities for like feedback and things like that. Um, and I'm definitely not going anywhere because you can go to the main channel for Wake Up American every single day, <laughs> Monday through Friday. Um, on the main channel, we're also doing uh, live streams on the shadowing channel as well. So it's not like <laughs> there's going to be uh, like this huge void. You're still going to be able to find me. Uh, but for the interim, yeah, no, it's 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 very sad. I know. People say no. My mom just came back. Emmanuel's very sad. Emmanuel sees me every day of the week. <laughs> Emmanuel literally sees me like every day of the week. Um. <laughs> mom asks, "Will I bring it back soon?" Uh. You know, I'd love to be in a position to be able to do it. Um, again, there's some other projects that for that time slot, it's kind of a tricky time. Um, if I do bring it back, it might be on a different day of the week um, or something like that. It is not, Edward says, I hope it's not goodbye, but till later. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, um, it's hiatus. It's not canceled. It will come back. 
Um, especially once the channel and things like that are in a better position to support it and things. Um, yeah. Mayo says, we were just getting to our two-year Schwab Mill anniversary. I feel like in some ways, because I know like there was a time when we did it without it actually having a name. And then I was just like, you know, we need a name. We need to name this puppy. Um, my mom says, we'll have to clone you so you can do all your projects. You already tried that, mom. I have a twin brother. <laughs> you already tried that. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye out for the channel because there may be some spontaneous announcements. Like, hey guys, we're going to do a Schwab Mill episode. Send me your audio files. So keep an eye out on like the um, community tab, YouTube posts, and things like that. All right. It's like again, keep an eye out. It's not canceled. It's just at a lower frequency until we decide what to do with things like that. All right. But thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate you. It's been fun. We're, we're going to keep going. I will be around. <laughs> my brother can pick up the Schwab. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you want Greg teaching English. That could go <laughs> That could go many different ways. All right. I will see you all later because my throat is about to just not talk anymore. Um, but I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Take care, guys. I will see you later. You take care.